Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'm here with Jean O'Brien. But first, it is Spirit Week this week, and we are getting excited for Pep Rally next period. But before we go to Pep Rally, let's get excited about Manifest. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm great, Samantha. Okay, so what is Manifest? Manifest is a day um, that youth can come out and check out manufacturing. It's right on the Bluebell campus at Montgomery County Community College. It's easy to get to. We'll even give you a ride. It'll start on Saturday, March 11th, and we would love to have all of the students at Northtown Area High School come out and join us. Now, is it just for high school students, or is it for other people as well? It's not. People from the community can come. Uh, people from the high school can come. People from the middle school can come. If you want to bring your whole family, you're welcome to, just to check out manufacturing. Okay. Is there, like, an age limit that people should, like, should uh, maybe stay at home? if they're looking for a job at manufacturing? Well, I think there is on most shop floors and in most manufacturers, they're looking for individuals who are 18 or above, but it's never too soon to learn about manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn about what happens, any age can come. Okay, and you talked about transportation. How would students get the transportation up to Manifest? Super easy. All you have to do is go to a Clamo on Marshall Street in Narstown, be there by 745, the bus will be leaving by 8, or come to the Human Service Center at DeKalb and Fernand Street. Hop on the bus with us and we'll give you a ride up to Manifest at the campus and then we'll bring you back to that same location. That easy. Okay. And then is there a specific dress code for this con in convention? It's actually an expo, oh, so you'll yeah. come in and there'll be service providers in the hallway that you can talk to, people like Job Corps, um, I'll be there, I'm from the Youth Empowerment Program to share information with youth, um, and then you can go into the expo and visit all of the different manufacturers. There'll be a primary speaker that you can listen to to find out a little bit more. Um, and that manufacturer will be there also. So it's not just people coming in to fill out job applications. It's all the manufacturers so you can learn about what they do at the different manufacturers. So would you suggest them being in like business appropriate? Casual. <laughs> Wear your sneakers and jeans. Okay. <laughs> I'll be there with my sneakers and jeans on. <laughs> okay. So what other manufacturers are going to be there? Well, one of the primary manufacturers is uh, MS Grinding, um, and they're going to be there. John's the primary speaker. Uh, he's amazing. His dad and his uncle ran the manufacturer, and they used to make precision screws and fittings for hip replacements. John came on board, and they're doing a little bit more than that now. The shop has grown. Um, they make this piece of metal that's so thin that they can go in and break up a blood cut in your brain without even making an incision in your body. So it's pretty amazing what they're doing. He does a lot of medical things. There's manufacturers who make products that we use every day, like Depends. Uh, so that's right in King of Prussia. First Quality does that. So there's manufacturers all over Montgomery County that make all different kinds of items that we use every day. Now you said you're going to have guest speakers. Can you talk a little bit about them? Mm -hmm. John will be there. I believe that he's come here and talked to your parent club uh, because I came that night. All three of my kids graduated from Northtown High School, so I came when John was speaking here. Uh, the Workforce Development Board brought him in to speak to your parent club, and he told a little bit about what happens in manufacturing. He's a very dynamic speaker. He'll really capture your attention. Okay. Are there any other guest speakers other than him? or Just John. Okay. <laughs> And then if people are coming in to fill out job applications, um, would they be doing for part-time jobs or full-time jobs? It all depends on the needs of the manufacturer. Uh, most manufacturing jobs are full-time positions. So if this is a career that you think you want to reach out to, someone who likes to do engineering, say the kids who are in the robotics club, this would be a great uh, opportunity for them to come and visit. They can use the skill that they had there and use it in these kind of jobs. I met a young man uh, here in Narstown. There's a co company called Positron. Uh, they manufacture circuit boards that you use in your cameras, uh, that you use in your computers and different devices. They bought a piece of equipment that learned how to assemble those pieces together so a human being didn't have to do it. Well, nobody knew how to use it. And he was a young man, knew how to use a computer. He figured out how to program it. So now that's his job is he programs that computer every day to manu different, manufacture different types of circuit boards. 
So all different kinds of jobs. You might be the receptionist. You might be the billing clerk. So there's different kinds of jobs in a manufacturer. It's not just people working on a shop floor and wearing their working man clothes anymore. Uh, very often, it's engineers and design engineers that are running the manufacturing of different items here in, our, in, in this type of field. So it's really amazing what has changed. Okay. And is, was there any way for younger than 18, like middle schoolers, to get involved with manufacturing and stuff? Absolutely. All three of the middle schools here in Northstown School District will be attending. Uh, they all took part in a, in a contest, actually, and the competition will end. I believe our award ceremony is on March 14th, so we'll be voting for their... Uh, before their videos. These uh, youth went out to manufacturers. There's one right here in Montgomery County. It's Paul Downs Cabinet Making. So Stewart Middle School had a team of kids um, with uh, Mr. Sam and they went out to Paul Downs and they filmed the manufacturing process of the cabinets. And then they filmed about what they learned about it and they created a manufacturing role and that was submitted to the Do It, Dream It, What's So Cool About Manufacturing. Uh, and those kids will be participating in an award ceremony on March 14th. We'll have our state representatives there, we'll have our county commissioners there, we'll have our workforce development board there, I'll be there. Um, so we'll make sure that Mr. Doyle and your team gets that information so you can vote for our middle schools. It's a regional event that kids uh, participated in from Lehigh County, here in Montgomery County and Luzerne County, and we want to win. So we want everybody to vote for our schools. <laughs> yes. I'm personally from Stewart, so I go. would <laughs> love to see them win. So can you explain where it is again, just so everybody else knows sure. where to go? It's on Saturday, March 11th, which is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Okay. Uh, you can come on board. Uh, with us by meeting us at the Human Service Center or at Aclamo by 745. We'll hop on the bus at 8. We'll make our way to Montgomery County Community College, the Bluebell campus. It's in the Science Center. It opens up at 830. Uh, the program actually begins at 930, but you can visit the expo before things begin. We'll be leaving by noon and heading back to Norristown. If you just want to go on your own, just drive up to the community college, go to the Science Center, and we'll see you there. If you'd like to register, go to manifest.org, uh, and you can just put in your name. If you'd like to register as a Narstown Area High School student, we'll know that you might be joining us on the bus, and we'll make sure you, we save you a seat. Would you like people to register, or? Absolutely. Okay. We have about 140 youth registered right now. We'd like over 300 youth to be attending. A lot of people have said they're coming, but they haven't signed up at manifest.org. Super easy to do. Okay. Um, but you're, are you allowed to go to the expo even though you didn't sign up or register? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think you, you did it all. <laughs> Is, uh, if you'd like to pick up a flyer, I'm sure Ms. Titus will have some in her office. Of course. Um, is, they'll be all over the school. Uh, don't be afraid to give us a call at the Youth Empowerment Program. If you have any questions about it, we're more than happy to answer your questions. And we're 610-278-5933. Or you can just ask your guidance counselor. They all know me, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Okay. Thank you very Thanks, much. Samantha. <laughs> I'm Samantha, here talking to Gina Bryan about the Manifest. Now back to our host.